Shalom Israel, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect men doing his work in truth and in sincerity. Alright, today I want to get on basically about don't take that chip, man, or you will be destroyed. Alright? Like I said in the um in the beginning, you know, shalom to those doing this work, the elect men doing this work in truth sincerity, because that's what we all you know we out here for. And um only the elect is not gonna take that chip, man. So we gotta hope and constantly pray and ask the Lord, you know, hope Lord willing we are of the elect, man. You know? You know, because that chip as is written in Revelation thirteen, that's gonna come upon all the world. Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls of all, he calls of all, he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand on their, or in their foreheads. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be our final test, Aku. You know what I'm saying? That, that RFID chip, man. All right. In Revelation 3 and 10, I remember, always remember the apostle uh, Tahar did a video on that, right? He was saying how... The hour of temptation is going to be that shit, man. Um, Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which shows, you know, why we should continue to keep doing this work, man, because you don't want to get that chip. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, man. And we want to do as much work as possible, man. So in that last days, we can't, you know what I'm saying, not, we basically um, be faithless or have, you know what I'm saying, as, um, you know what I'm saying, be... You know what I'm saying? Be wavering, all right? Be double-minded because you feel like you ain't doing enough, man. Also, we'll keep them from the hour of temptation. So that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping that the Most High will keep us from the hour of temptation, all right? There's no money, so you can't eat, you know what I'm saying? Unless you don't have the chip, man. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't work to make money because you don't have the chip, all right? But the Most High could keep you from that, you know what I'm saying? He could keep you from that. You know what I'm saying? If you continue to do this work sincerely for the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though you don't have that chip, he he could uh you know what I'm saying, he he'll provide a way to get you some food, man. Or have you know, provide a way to keep you sheltered, man. Whatever. Whatever be the most high's will, man. But back in uh Revelations, right, uh what was that? I think uh thirteen and seventeen that no man might buy or sell save he that had a mark. Or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. All right, so that's how we know that the um, RFID chip, all right, is that mark. All right, because here it is. You have countless videos of, you know, people bringing out how to um, basically uh, the RFID chip. You can buy, you know, what I'm saying you can sell with it. You can do different things with it, but that's gonna be the main thing, man, because the um, the the value of a dollar, you know what I'm saying? The value of the dollar is the value by the minute, man. And that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, uh, basically, that's not by coincidence, man. All right, that's because the most high, you know what I'm saying, set these Edomites up, the elites, to the value of the dollar so that they can bring in the chip, man. That's actually one of the main things of the chip, I mean, of their new world order, is that chip, man. All right. Like I said, that's the radio frequency identification chip. A lot of people might know because, like, say if you have pets, you will put that would be something that you will put in your pet. So that basically, they want to put that inside you, man. You know, so that's another reason why we shouldn't get that chip because we know our temple is our temple, Salaki. Our temple is meant for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, not for Esau, man. All right, this is Revelation 14 and 9. The third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. All right, and we, you know, us didn't know. All right, even, you know what I'm saying? You you see the wrath of the most high, whether it be somebody getting messed up in a car accident, you know what I'm saying? Somebody um you know what I'm saying, somebody the wrath of the most high is crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody getting struck by lightning, somebody being set on fire, um, a baby being set on fire, whatever, man. That's the wrath of the most high, man. 
So the ma the wrath of the Most High is is, is unimaginable, man. All right. Just recently, you know what I'm saying, we seen the wrath of the Most High of a dude that fell out. The Most High got him fucked up by 18, well, and he's still living, man. Living like a vegetable, man. You know? So that's the wrath of the Most High. All right? And it, hey, man, it's so much more, man, that the Most High could do to you that we couldn't even imagine, man. The Most High knows our fears, man. All right? So... It's imperative that we don't take that chip, man. The same shall drink of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. All right, so just think about the thing that you're afraid of. The most high could, you know, do that in it. You know what I'm saying? Make it more intense, man. You know what I'm saying? Have your family die and get killed in front of you, man. Whatever, man. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. All right, so that goes to show you right there that the Most High doesn't approve of you taking that chip, man. He does not approve of you taking that chip, man. If you take it, you will be destroyed, man. Don't take it at all. Not even if it's in left hand, man. Do not take it. All right, Revelations 15 and 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the of God. So, these are the only ones that's gonna that's gonna basically overcome and not take that chip, man. Are the elect? I'm trying to slot in. Oh, uh, back uh, 15 and 2. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And then, <clears throat> and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And then they had gotten a victory over the beast and over his image. All right. So, like I said, you know, we got to keep praying. You know, crazy, man. Doing works crazy to hope that the Most High allow us not to uh, take that chip, man. And hope that we, and hope that we are of the elect. You know, so with that, I pray brothers edified. Um, remember, don't take that chip or the most high will really fuck. Well, the most high will fucking destroy you, man. That's it. Shalom.